When you sign a guy, you are oftentimes paying a tax. And that tax is the more recent the contract, the more money it's going to be, despite the level of competition against one another. And you might say, well, Derrick Henry's the most recent signee at running back. He's going to make the most money. But to get him at the fifth highest salary and not the first or the second is really a deal for the Titans. Because in terms of the way that the Jets utilize Le'Veon Bell and in terms of the way that the Texans are going to get a 75%, maybe less, of David Johnson, this is a great deal for the Titans. Now, there is obviously an inherent risk with a guy like Derrick Henry. He is a physical running back. And physical running backs where they take and dole out punishment are going to last shorter careers, fewer seasons than guys that can skitter around, avoid contact, and play outside the hash marks. It's just going to be that way. So Derrick Henry's unlikely to play a really long time in the NFL at a really high level. He's going to have a lot of wear and tear on those tires. But you don't have him signed to some extraordinarily long deal. You get him on four seasons. So is it possible by year three or year four it's not the same Derrick Henry? It's possible. Is it possible that after the four years you're not going to want Derrick Henry anymore? Certainly, certainly probable. But in terms of where you get Derrick Henry for the Titans and what he did for you last year, yeah, I think this is a win for both sides. I really do. And if you're a Titans fan, you've got to love the fact that you wake up this morning and you know we've got Tannehill, we've got Henry, we've got them locked up long term. Let's go back out to work and see how good we are in the AFC South again this season after last year's run, Cinderella-wise, to an AFC championship game.